Cole Anderson here. How are you? So you want to know my take on the 2014 elections? Well, here it is. First of all, the one big race that's going on right now is Tom Tillis, a Republican, taking on Kay Hagan, a Democrat that's also an Obama ass kisser. <laughs> Not that it matters, but, you know, fuck it. They've been slandering and bitching at each other all election long. This has been going on for months, even in the debates. And you know something? I'm getting pretty freaking sick of it. Ain't that right, Iron Sheik? Fucking bullshit! Yeah, you're right. I should definitely save that for later. Thanks, Iron Sheik. Okay. What was I going to say? Oh, right. The Kay Hagen thing. See, Tom Tillis accuses Kay Hagen of helping her family out and supporting Obama by agreeing with him and voting with him 95% of the time. Now, three weeks ago, they said it was 96% of the time. But apparently, the guys that ran the fucking political ads are full of shit because they don't know what the hell a percentage is. Like, say... 99% or even 1%. They can't tell the exact percentage that Kay Hagan voted for Obama. That's kind of sad, you know? I mean, it really is. And then on the one, on the other hand, you got, you got freaking Kay Hagan attacking Tom Tillis for being a 1% or wannabe. And the Koch brothers have constantly spent money on him to attempt to help Tillis win election into the Senate. But Tom Tillis says that, well, I don't know what Tom Tillis says, but either way, everyone knows that a politician like him is going to deny it, which we know, just like the Iron Sheik knows. Fucking bullshit! Jesus, I used that sound clip one too many times already. Actually, two too many times. <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be a copyright issue with this, but... I mean, it's just a two-second clip. What... What harm could it possibly do? But anyway, back to the point. Tom Tillis is accusing Kay Hagan of voting with Obama 96 or 95 percent of the time, and Kay Hagan is accusing Tom Tillis of being a one percenter. And I don't believe either one of them. In fact, I'm not going to vote for either of them. Because I know they're both full of shit. As does everyone else in America. And you know, it's not going to surprise me a bit. Because I know for a fact that Kay Hagan and Tom Tillis are two very incredible examples of how Congress isn't supposed to work. But we're too dumb to know that. No, wait, we are smart enough to know that, so it's all good. But anyway, I'm going to shut up. See you.